to me drinking coffee. Don't tell me what to do. You can't just move. My mom will say I'm drinking coffee. She keeps telling me it will stunt my growth. Um, your mom follows you, like on Instagram. Avery, quit it. Lily, it's fine. At least your mom cares about you. Ugh, I hate Chloe. She copies my filter style and she posts music from my playlist as if she's listened to it before. Maybe you're just obsessed with her. Cause it definitely sounds like it. Letting her live rent free in your head. You nerd. Why don't you just go tell her then? Or are you too afraid that she'll catch up your face too? Coffee, by the way. I'm sure you can afford it. Listen. Go on. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm sure I don't have to explain to a scientist that insider trade is wrong. It's illegal. Anyway, I have all the facts right here. I didn't harm anyone. I was just making you a few extra dollars. A side fee. A few more dollars. Hmm. That's what I'm after. And the proof of that asteroid is all that I need. Please. Give me the proof on that asteroid, or I'll take it to the public and make sure you lose everything. Just share a little knowledge with me. You've been doing it anyway. Destroy the chip back you download the contents. Disable the internet. Never use a laptop that's been on the grid. If you can. I assume you have a digital copy. Of course. And this is a symbol of good faith between us. An agreement. And it's really near. What do you plan on doing on your final days? I'm getting what I want, Ned. I always get what I want. I think you should try it too. And sometimes you might like it. Especially if you have that second lease on life. Rosa? Do, do you work here? God, what is it? Uh, we want coffee. Right, guys? And we want it quick. Oh, wait. Is this the Rosa? Yeah, good thing they have uniforms here, or else she might be wearing your clothes, Lindsay. <laughs> wait, how did she get fired? Oh, it's impossible not to, working for the Crazy Coopers. They're so spoiled, any mistake you make makes them freak out. Oh, that's funny. Because our new nanny is just perfect. And how do I say this? So much better than you. It was you, wasn't it? If you wanted me out. We just want coffee without any spit in it. By the way, your ugly ass boyfriend wasn't worth getting fired over. <sighs> what can I get you today, ma'am? Free coffee and service. Please smile, please. Yes, large free coffee. And some pastries for all of us to go with it. Heard them, Rosa? You're gonna get what you deserve. Something is coming your way real soon, real bad. Just do wait, you little brat. This place sucks anyway. I mean, they did hire you, so. Have fun making minimum wage, Rosa. Let's go. Did you guys see that? Lindsay's a boss lady. You were like that too, Chloe. Yeah, I mean, you did start a food fight and didn't even have to clean it up. 
That's right. Bella and Audrey did. If Lindsay heard about that, she would be super impressed. I'm sure of it. She probably has been in a dozen food fights. I mean, we just saw her roast a 20-year-old. She's so not impressed with middle school food fights. I can mash potatoes under my fingernails days later. Maybe you should try a manicure once in a while. I don't know if you guys have seen her nails, but Harmony always has the best nails. Uh, I think she spends too much time on them. Bianca, on the other hand, has nice but practical nails. I could still throw a handful of mashed potatoes at Bella and not even have to get another man in pity. <laughs> Allow something? What can I get you? Can I have something with a lot of caffeine that tastes like candy? I hate the taste of coffee. Rosa, I need to speak with you now. I just want to start by saying you cannot trust what those girls said. They're the lifeblood of this shop. They spend their parents' money here. We have loyal customers, but it's not enough to keep the doors open. <laughs> just don't start fights. She didn't start anything. I literally watched the entire thing. And those girls were being mean, kind of just stirring up the pot. They were just being trolls, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, if you say so. Rosa, just be kind. Thanks. Hey, I just don't want to work without you, but you don't actually think I'm ugly, right? I have to get back to work. Thanks for the coffee. Looks like Shilvery isn't dead. That's just going out of style, baby. You know, I love it when you open up the door for me or pull out the chair for me to sit in. Yeah. It's the confidence for me, even when you know it'll all be ever seen. You know, I came all the way out here to see you, right? I open the door for you. I buy your coffee. I would do anything in the world for you. You know it. The sacrifices I've made, all the lies, Jesus, the lies that I've told. Just to see if this thing between us is real. It's real. I just gotta know. You already do. I mean, it's time that you start listening to that little vulnerable voice inside of your head. The one that you clearly need to quit ignoring. You know, what does any of this mean? I, all I feel is doubt from you. Can we just... Look. I just want a hand to hold to stand there watching the world end. Amazing. And you turn on the manipulation? I swear, all I feel is doubt. I think you would just leave this whole thing up to chance. Coin toss. Wouldn't you? So do it. Flip a coin and see if I'd walk. Fine. Heads, you walk. Tails. It's not the one you promised. I told you the options. Wait another year or buy this one now. Did you really want to spend another season leeching off your cousin? Sailing only when they do? The boat is collecting dust in Lila Parada, honey. We could have waited a year and maybe not by having this conversation. Well, at least the kids got to sail it. Learn some responsibility, right? Did you spike your coffee? Order an Irish blend? Seriously, the lowest common denominator, the Chardonnay wife? You're not being very reasonable. <sighs> Sell the Isla Morata yacht. Hi, I'm sorry. Was selling the yacht forge a better relationship? Probably not, but most relationships are not perfect. That's expected though. So you settle for the flaws going in? 
Yes, dear, but it's evolving in real time, as you can see. But you don't have that much time here. On Earth, you mean? Yes. I'm sorry, are you not worried about the asteroid? Ooze, asteroids, war, it's always something. I can't be worried about the what ifs, I have a family. I have more pressing problems, right now, in the present. Like the size of her husband's boat? Mm. Yes, you do need to attend to more pressing matters rather than the what ifs and maybes. I understand. And you, when are you gonna start panic buying? Well, I'm waiting and watching to see what everyone else is going to do. I like to think the shield, the badge we carry, isn't the only reason people don't stab each other with ice picks. <laughs> ice picks don't sell too well in these parts, Andy. The social contract between people can't be upheld because you and I have a gun and a badge. I don't want to scare anyone. Unfortunately, we can't force people to be civil. We can only protect the civil against the lawless. Sometimes I wish our job was obsolete. That we could be farmers, electricians, even painters. But then I witness we are all capable of doing to each other the worst of things. And I realize our job is as old as time, as old as the paint on cave walls. Somebody had to stop the tribe from tearing at each other's necks. We got burdened by that task. Whoa, Andy. Are you thinking about quitting? No, that's not an option. Even those that wear the badge are taking advantage of its power, what it represents. No, I have to lead by example. Maybe these are the words of a knife. No, not at all. Not at all, Andy. The legacy of me, you, this town? That's the itch I'm trying to scratch. We will be judged by our actions right now. If someone had a switch to the sun to turn it off, my hope is that we have proven ourselves worthy to live up to our potential. We continue on. I know that we have missiles to the ground in silence. It's a death sentence. Look, the way I see it, there are two types of people in this world. Those that stand up for the little guy and those that stand on him. We, you and I, we're on the right side of that line, Andy. I know you're a good person and no one is gonna say anything different. Yeah, yeah, what did I say? Wait, what did I say? Oh yeah, I'm the dice master. I knew you would win, Butch, you always do. Oh, I'll probably let it dice. There goes my lunch money. <laughs> Beauty before age. I beat you, Julian. I thought you were the big man around here. I'm the big man around here! Hey, just let us buy and leave us alone. You're gonna pay the price and that's a fight. Guys, you can all just share. Butch doesn't share with losers. You don't speak for me, bro. Let's fight for it. Stop right there or you're gonna get it, butt lickers! Butt lickers! Get the bikes! Step over the boundaries of decency. You should not wage war against your classmates. This is not who you really are. Violence is costly to both parties involved. Now, you see what happens when you make threats? You get wet. Now go! Next time your nanny won't be here to save you, losers! We'll settle this Saturday on the trampolines. Julian, are you okay? Thanks to you. How did, what did, what did you just do? I'm an adult, so they stopped. He's a hero! You must not engage in violence. I know you were scared, but you have to stand up for yourself. 
You can settle this without fighting. People can be reasoned with. You need to see the good in them. But Butch is a bully. We can't talk to him. It's just what he does. No. Deep down, he does not want to fight. He wants acceptance. He wants to feel love as you do. I know you're capable of making peace. Show me. Thanks, Rafael. What now? I think they left all that money. We could burn up the water gun. Or we could just give it back. I like Julian's plan. Fine. Fine.